The weekend before last, I was in these very woods. In fact, I was between these two trees that are behind me here, and I was putting my tarp up, and a couple of friends that I was out doing an overnight with came over and spotted something on my tarp and was asking what it was and why it was there. And when I explained it to them, they said, I'd never thought of that, I'd never seen that before, but actually it makes a lot of sense. And they went away to do it themselves after that weekend. So I thought it might be an idea to record a quick video to share with you what I thought was a very simple little mod and tweak to my tap setup, but it may be new to you and it might be interesting for you to see it as well. So if you're interested, keep watching. Hi folks, I'm Craig Taylor and as always, a huge thanks for joining me here on my YouTube channel, The Bushcraft Padawan. If you're not yet a subscriber, if you enjoy watching this video and you want to improve your bushcraft skills, then why not click on that red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen right now and you won't miss any future updates from my channel. Let's get down to brass tacks then. I'm gonna set my tarp up between these two trees over my shoulder here, and then I'm gonna bring you very, very close in and show you what this simple, what I think is a very simple little mod and tweak is to my tarp setup that might be valuable to you. Give me a second or two. Ah, there you are. This is the edge of my tarp here. And attached to the edge of that tarp, what I have is a piece of bungee cord, shock absorber cord, shock cord, whatever it is that you want to call it. This is actually just off an old accessory type bungee strap that's that starting to fray, so I cut the decent sections of it off. And I've just tied it onto there, and I put a simple overhand knot an inch, inch and a half from the end, so there's no chance of it coming unraveled. I then use that to pull my tarp tight. Notice that the tension here, tension gone, then there's tension, tension gone, then there's tension. I pull it tight, I loop it, I push a bite of my prusset cord from my guy line through there, put a piece of just twig off the ground, something substantial, and then pull everything tight. And what I want to talk about is this bungee loop cord here, because they weren't doing that, my friends weren't doing that. What they were doing was they had the prusik loop tied directly to their tap tie out point here, and then they were just pulling it along. The reason I choose to put this bungee cord in here, apologies for the background noise, bloody dog. Uh, the reason I put this bungee loop cord in here is because in the past, moons ago, when I used to tie out directly to my tie out point with the prusik cord, I found that over a period of time, it actually unstitched the, prusik, uh, the, the tie out point here. Because when you think about it, when this is up, when it's windy, when it's raining, when it's moving about, all of that force, all of that pressure, all of that tension is being put in several places. It's been put throughout the prusik loop itself, any knots in the prusik loop, the prusik um, knot itself, but primarily it's also being put into the stitching on the tap. And over time, something's going to give. And nine times out of 10, in my experience, it's not the prusik cord, it's not the guy line. The weakest point, in my opinion, in all of it is the stitching in the tie out point. So by putting this bungee cord in here, what that can do is that can take a certain amount of the buffering. That will take a certain amount of the, of the tension and the force that's generated when it's windy and things are moving about, rather than transferring it all into the weakest point. Yes, some will still be transferred into there, absolutely, but the shock absorbency, the clues in the question, right? Shock absorbency of the bungee loop here helps to eliminate some of that. So that's why I do it. That was the, the simple little tip that I shared with my friends a couple of weekends ago that they'd never seen. So if you fancy trying that out, all you need to do is to separate your prusik loop from your tie out point, put a loop of bungee cord, maybe a fist diameter on the end of your bungee tie out, on the end of your tap tie out point, and then just lax foot the bungee loop to the prusik loop, and then just put a twig as the, as the toggle 
that holds the two things together. It also means you can actually get a great deal of tension in there because this bungee cord, um, you know, you, you can tension it quite a great deal without the risk so much of pulling the stitching out in this part of the tarp here. So there we go, hopefully you found that useful. If you have, do let me know in the comments below. If you do something similar to this, but maybe not identical, then again, share it in the comments below. I'd really benefit from learning different ways of, of setting this up as much as I'm sure other viewers would. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch. Do let me know your thoughts below. And if you're not yet a subscriber, why not click on that red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen round about now, so you don't miss out on any future videos for me. Thanks as always for watching folks and I'll see you in the next video very very soon. Cheers.